All right, hello everyone, Doug with the LincolnList.com. Today we're gonna to talk about the differences between a risk and a gamble. Now, if you wanna be an entrepreneur, and go out there and make your way in life and be really, really successful, especially if you wanna do that through trading, you're gonna have people in your inner circle tell you that you are gambling. You're gambling with your life, you're gambling with your money, you're gambling with your future, and you're gonna sink into this abyss and slowly, slowly die on the vine. Now, it might be an exaggeration, but you know people automatically think, especially when it comes to trading, that you're gambling. Now, I don't believe that, and I'll tell you why in just a few minutes, but let's talk about what the, the differences are. Now, the main difference between a risk and a gamble, of course, is that a risk is something that you can control, whereas a gamble, you cannot. And a good example of that would be your vehicle. You know, driving a car is one of the most dangerous things that you can do. In fact, it's the fourth leading killer of people all across the world. So it's one of the most dangerous things that you engage in on a regular basis. But there are things that are in place to reduce that risk of a fatal accident. You know, if you drive the speed limit, if you don't run stop signs, if you don't run red lights, if you don't drive while you are intoxicated, Doing those things and obeying traffic laws will reduce the likelihood of you being involved in a fatal accident. Now, you can't control other drivers, and things do happen, but the overall point is if you obey those laws, most likely you will be fine and you will get to enjoy the success of driving a vehicle, such as going to your job, going out on dates, traveling around the country. But in order to do that and, be, and, and survive, you have to obey traffic signals. Now, if you just drive through stop signs, run red lights, smoke a joint and drive down the road, well, you're taking a gamble with your life and other people's lives while you do that. So that's the, kind of like the difference between gambling and a risk. You know, risk is something that you can control. When you don't control things, you are thus gambling. Now, how this relates to a trader is that every trader that I know that's successful and has been successful is using a process. And that's something that you learn in Trading 101 is figuring out what kind of trader you are, what kind of stocks or instruments you wanna trade, and how you wanna go about trading them. And they do that in the form of setups. And once you have something like that in place, you have some way to control the risk into every trade. So a professional consistent trader, before they go into a trade, they know about how much money they're going to lose in a worst case scenario. Now that eliminates the gambling, okay? Because there is an outcome on that because based on that setup and that criteria of the trade that they take, there's an amount of those trades that will work and an amount that they will not work. And there's an average win for those trades and an average loss for those trades. So being able to control that risk and reap the reward is what makes a trader profitable. Now when a trader takes revenge trades, or they take advice from people that they don't know or that don't have their best interest at mind, or they're trading something that they're not familiar with. That's when trading becomes not professional, but it becomes a gamble because that's when you are just guessing. And, you, and, the, and the main point about risks versus gambling that I want you to take away from this is that with a risk, being able to control a risk, you can create something sustainable. Like you can drive your car for the rest of your life. You can make money in many different businesses. You can be a successful trader over the long term by managing risk. If you're gambling, you're never going to have any consistency because there are no professional gamblers. Because gamblers just ultimately go on streaks, they'll make money, but ultimately they will lose money. So no matter what you do, you're going to have to differentiate between what is risk and what is a gamble? As long as you have a calculated plan and you understand what your risks are, then you're removing the threat of gambling, which will always make you a little bit more successful. Anyway, I hope this made some sense to you. As always, if you need a little bit of help, visit thelinkandlist.com. Until the next lesson, take care.